Whether we want to accelerate, jumpstart, or reset our spiritual journey, Heartworks tools are effective for two reasons. First, they are whole body, whole experience exercises that allow us to understand our experience on every level of our being. And second, they don't take a whole lot of training. They just ask to be practiced in life's messy situations. It took me a long time to embrace the present moment, moment by moment, no matter what it presented to me, on every level of my being. But as I learned this special quality of awareness, I realized I was onto something. That's what I want to begin to share with you today. And so we ask God's presence to descend on us and to surround us as we explore this watchfulness together. In the Eastern spirituality, um, the fathers of the church, uh, the monks of the desert, they have a special sense of this awareness of ourselves. And they would refer to it as kind of a watchfulness. And this watchfulness is necessary because it helps us, it sustains us in our effort to reach really a profound prayer, a deep prayer that involves all of us, that somehow connects us on every level of our being with Jesus a prayer of the heart. So this watchfulness is, is an awareness of the movements of sensation, physically, uh, feelings, emotions, thoughts, movements in our imagination. And so we're gonna be looking at that in this presentation. So I invite you to, in this exercise, just to stop and notice your inner space. What is it that is calling out to you for attention? What place in you is calling out for, for mercy or for care? And those places within me, when I find them, I, I realize there's a tension around them or a, a stiffness, a fear. Uh, and there's also thoughts that go with it and imagination. So we're whole people. So in a spirit of watchfulness, we want to notice our inner space. And I invite you now really to deepen that focus with a very simple practice. Um, this sentence that is said on and with our breath. And it's a sentence that it's not magic, but it seems to stabilize people. Um, I find it helps me to, to really connect to myself as I am in the present moment. And the words that we're going to say on our breath are on the screen. And the words are, I am here now just and your name. So I would say I on my in breath am on my out breath here now just Catherine. So I invite you to do that just for a moment and to notice just to begin to notice any differences in your inner world, in your inner experience.
And we're going to go even deeper within, turning that simple little phrase into a prayer. And again, on our breath, we're going to pray, I am in you, in God. I am in you. So I invite you to pray that prayer. And just notice how your thoughts may become more still, your body more restful. You may disconnect from the urgency of desires and emotions. And you might observe your sensations and tensions and you, you may feel a warmth or a buzzing or a tingling of a greater sense of presence. You may feel very calm and peaceful, but actually you should feel a little uncomfortable because most likely we're all in some way holding something within ourselves that's causing us a memory, um, a holding, a knot of the past that's disrupting our present. And when I call these knots from the past, I call them emotional footprints. You know, when you're walking on the beach and you see footprints uh, from a person or a bird, you realize that person or that bird has been walking here. Someone has walked across the beach. They're not here anymore but the footprints tell you they've changed the landscape. They've changed the beach. So we also have these footprints. Every event of our life has walked through the landscape, our inner landscape, and has left a footprint, an emotional footprint. And these sensations that we experience within ourselves our emotional footprints from unintegrated past events. They're always present, but it's not until we do a prayerful or quiet focusing exercise that we begin to become aware of them. Usually we're not present enough to ourselves to be aware of them. So when we sit with them, Actually, when we're present to them or allow them to be present to us, we integrate them in a very simple way. We integrate the unfinished stuff of our past. And by integrating them, our lives become more free. So, all these unintegrated emotional footprints that fill our lives are really on our superficial self. They're, they're aspects of that top layer of who we are. And that superficial self is the self that can amass experiences and it holds on to memories, even bodily holds on to memories. It can reflect on them, if we can reflect on ourselves. But there is a deeper place in ourselves. We can rise above or go beneath this unreality and we can recover our hidden identity in God because our true reality is the reality that is seen in the eyes of God. And our reality in God and with him is a reality created by him and a reality that belongs entirely to him. So this very simple exercise that can be done at any time of just simply, just on a very simple level, 
becoming present, coming home to ourselves allows us in time to rise above that superficial self and to rediscover, refine, and re-inhabit who we truly are in God. Mm-hmm.